Hi everybody, this is Tony. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I decided to take a short trip to Kansas City. The first stop that I made was Suburban Lawns and Garden. This place has been uh, a place that I wanted to visit and I am not disappointed at all. They have a large amount of plants that can be taken care of in our house. I started off in the cacti section. They have a big selection of cacti. They are very cool. I don't have a lot of cacti in my collection. Look like most of these are barrel cacti. They also have some euphorbias. A wide variety of crown of thorns. These plants are pretty tricky to take care of you guys. They don't do well over winter and I had some and they just died recently. I have been getting more and more into succulents. Recently, I ordered some succulents that are from Korea. I can't wait to show you guys once they are more established. I found a hanging basket of Hoya Abovada for $25. And then I found this Korean succulent that is $50 but it is um, big and looking back, I should have gotten it. They have some beautiful J plant here that are sun stressed and also variegated. And down here, they have some baskets of Hoyas, including Hoya Lisa. And on top, they continue to have succulents. So many succulents. On this table, they have several philodendrons such as Birkins and Green Emeralds. They got several shingle plants back there. Dragon tails. Philodendron micans that are going for $20 in a four inch pot. They don't look so good. I love the philodendron lemon lime. So bright. And here are the Brazils. Here they have some Cebu Blue that are on totem pole. And down here more philodendron Brazils. Some rubber trees. 
I love these uh, co coke dama. They are uh, pretty pricey. I think the bigger ones are around fifty to sixty dollars, and the one I'm holding up is around forty dollars. I need to make one of these. I think they are so cool. They're just a little bit time consuming to make, but overall, you know, it's a nice way to um, decorate with plants. They have some rare plants here. This is a philodendron gloriosum going for 250. This place has quite a large selection of philodendron currently. Some rare ones that are pretty pricey. And here are some variegated Hoya Carii going for $45. I have the regular Hoya Carii that is uh, doing very well. Love the shape of the uh, Hoya Carii. So cute. Cementarium, air plants, and here is the clearance rack. Just uh, right now, I'm just taking a look at it, this rack, and I saw a well fin tail, Sensoveria, uh, or Dracaena now, that was marked down. This is interesting. They had a uh, Tetrasperma climbing up the pole there. Here are some Hoy Mohoyas, the Retusa, Crimson Queen, Hindu Rope. Now these uh, four inch pots are going anywhere from $15 to $25 depending on the species. They have some smaller ones down here that are around $10, which is not bad, but I, you know, Hoyas are a slow grower and it takes them a while to get established and over here we have some jewel orchids and some philodendron silver sore I love that color and now the pothos they have a wide variety of pothos including pearl and jay enjoy very nice these are going for four dollars Here are the pixie plants. They have a wide variety of them. Most of these plants grow very quick. I decided to get some Triscantias and Begonias. I don't mind the weight uh, for the price. I think it's not bad at all. I really like this variegated strawberry, strawberry Begonia. I decided to grab a four inch pot of this pepperoni I hope it is going for ten dollars it looks very healthy this is an interesting find I haven't seen this before this is ficus petiolaris it looks kind of like an ant plant
I think this is a Sansevieria Bento sensation. I decided to get it. This pot costs $17, which is not bad. Here are just some of the plants that I got. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are doing well. This is Tony. Please take care of yourself and your plants.